Hello there, I am David, and um, I'm gonna answer some questions. I've done a few videos so far on my experience. And by the way, this is my experience only. This is not to be construed as medical advice. Even though I am a doctor, I am not giving official medical advice. Please uh, understand that, but I'm gonna totally share with you my experiences. I've done a couple of videos on microdosing. Uh, magic mushroom is also known as, well, psilocybin mushrooms. There's a lot of different names for these things, but um, I've been microdosing um, magic mushrooms or psilocybin for a, a little over six months now. So I can say that I'm in the league of people that are fairly fairly experienced with this. And I, can, I get a lot of questions on my video channel here, and which by the way, didn't even start off to be a mushroom channel. Start off, I, I uploaded some ski videos and things like that. But now I, I really wanna help people with this. So I'm not really great, and I, I'm sorry about this, I'm not really great at answering comments or questions uh, where they should be. So I figured I'm, I'll just make a video and I'll, I'll include some of the most commonly asked questions. And that should help out a lot of my followers and people that stumble upon this video. So here we go. Let's just jump right into it. The uh, most commonly asked question I get is, Dr. Dave, where can I get magic mushrooms? And for obvious reasons, I just can't go there. I can't answer that question. I'm really sorry. Um, in most, I'm in the United States. Um, in most places still in the United States, they are illegal. So I'm, I don't want to get involved. I'm, I'm using this as like a medicine for me, a sacred medicine. I'm willing to help you, but I do not want to get involved in even referring people to where you know where you can get I just I just don't want to be involved on that level so I'm really sorry the only thing I can say is is just search talk around talk to um, younger people they generally will know the answer to this question I will tell you this though if you're ever approached if you're approached online by somebody that might have seen something in your in your uh, uh, comments or or or, or, um, or posts or anything like that that approaches you online and says I can I can sell you whatever you want generally stay away because they're, they're they're usually scammers i mean not a hundred percent but i could say 95 to 98 percent scam scammer potential there so be very careful stay away from those next question is can i microdose when i'm taking an ssri and my answer is yes in most cases yes for those of you that are not familiar with it that means ssri selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor that is the type of medication that is usually referred to as like antidepressants you know the lexapro the selexa the paxil the, you know, those are generally ssris um, and they say a lot of times people will tell you not to microdose or not to use psilocybin when you're taking SSRI because the SSRI will kind of use up the receptors and, and so the psilocybin will not be effective. I find that not to be true at all. I am actually taking Lexapro, uh, which is an SSRI. And I get total, total, total benefits from, from uh, magic mushrooms. I, I don't see any problem, in, at least in my case. I know everybody's different, but um, to give a blanket statement that if you're on an SSRI, you can't enjoy or can't utilize the benefits of magic mushroom is just not true. Um, people will tell you, be careful of serotonin syndrome, which is a f when your body gets flooded with serotonin, but especially with microdosing, I just don't think that is gonna be happening. I, I, again, I've been doing this for over six months now. I've experienced zero problems, not even close to a problem. Uh, I think in my mind, um, magic mushrooms, psilocybin, if done responsibly, are very, very safe. Hope that answers that question for you. Number three, what is the best dosage for microdosing? Well, it, again, it's a really good question and it, it really varies. I, I've seen people, I've seen like the lowest uh, be maybe like uh, 10 to 20, 25 milligrams, which is tiny, tiny, tiny. And I see people talking about upwards of 0.5 grams of still microdosing, which is probably the very, very upper limit. The, the, what I can ask you to do or what I can um, recommend to you is to try, start off low. I would say start off at 25 milligrams. Um, but if you don't feel any effect, and when I say effect, I'm not talking about tripping. No, a microdose is not going to get you to trip and it shouldn't. And if it does, there's, there's a, you've taken way too much. Um, so start off at like 20 to 25 milligrams, which is 0 0.025, 0 0.025 grams. Make sure you get your milligrams and grams conversions accurate or else you could really mess up badly. So if, example, for example, a typical microdose 0.1 gram that's equal to 100 milligrams. Just make sure you get your decimal places and, and zeros in the right place. Um, start there, start at what I said, and then just inch your way up um, 
as needed and when you start to feel like feeling some effects that might be too much for you back yourself down a little bit there's no real science to this so that's the that's what i can offer i generally microdose my personal microdose is anywhere between 0.125 grams and the high high end would be uh somewhere around 0.4 that's that's like my range but again I'm probably on the higher range of microdosing. A lot, a lot of people use 50 and 100 milligrams, which again, 0.05 gram to 0.1 gram. That's pretty common, even 0.2 grams. So experiment yourself. There's no right, there's no wrong. Um, next question, how often should I microdose? How often? Again, that's, it depends on your body, depends how you feel. But um, a lot of the experts, the experts say, five days on then take two days off you don't want to do every day because you're going to develop a tolerance so um a lot of times i've done i've done the five days on two days off i've done three days on one day off i've done alternating days one on one off one on it just get a feel for how it feels for you the most important thing you have to remember is you do need to take days off or else you will build a tolerance and the microdosing won't you won't do anything positively for you at all um Next question, will microdosing help my depression and anxiety? I will give that a resounding, absolutely. It, it, that's the main reason I got into microdosing for depression and anxiety. It's helped me, it's, it's turned my whole world around. I mean, it, it, I know that might be cliche, but it's, it's really improved my anxiety was number one. And there's probably a little bit of depression in there as well, but I just don't feel anything anymore. Every day, look, I'm a human being, and of course I still have emotions and feelings, but every day is a pretty darn good day feeling positive and, and no more the anxiety feeling, no more like I'm on edge. I mean, it just, it's really, really wonderful. So yes, I also went into this not only for anxiety and depression, but for just to improve my life, improve my world. I wanted to be kinder and more tolerant to people. I wanted to feel that I was relevant. I wanted to get more things done. I wanted to just feel good about my life. And I, I will say again, with 100% uh, certainty, um, these magic mushrooms have, have certainly micro dosing has, has certainly helped me with with all of the above especially especially the um, 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 anxiety and depression part of it um, the last question I'll take is can I function can I function while microdosing and my answer is yes you should certainly be able to if you can't function then you're taking too much and you got to back off um, if you feel so so in other words the first time or two that you do it I wouldn't plan any activities around that, especially driving or being uh, taking care of your kids or anything like that. The first few times you do it, just, just be alone with yourself and make sure that you haven't taken too much. But when you get into the groove and you realize the perfect dose for you, yeah, you can go about your day. I just took a few minutes ago, well, I'd say more, more maybe 45 minutes ago, I took um, 0 .2, 0 0.25 grams. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling productive. I'm out in nature. I'm just, it's, but I can totally function. If somebody told me I had to drive a few hours to get somewhere, I could totally do that now with probably more uh, energy and uh, better perception than, than the average person on the road. I just feel like it really enhances everything. But again, you gotta be careful because if you think too much, then you're gonna get into like a, a, a trippy type thing. And that's, I would not advise doing that. So again, these are all my personal experiences. This is not medical advice. This is my personal advice. I'm doing this to help people like you but um, it's not to be construed as, as medical advice because let's face it, these things are still not legal in most places. But again, if it's a medicine that's gonna really, really, really help my life and it has so much, I can't be concerned about the legality. I don't have enough time left to worry about, like I'm gonna just sit, sit back and wait until they're legal totally everywhere and, and approved for medical use because it may or may not happen. And, and my, the time is taken away. I want to I want to do it now to help my life. I hope this helped you. Check previous videos I'm doing, and there will be future videos. Feel free to ask me questions. I'll try to address them um, either in the comments or a future video. Until then, take care. Peace. Namaste. I'm David. Bye.